In this brief video, I'm going to cover how to separate the class into small groups for interaction in the course forums or group projects. So suppose you have a class that has 20 or 30 students and uh, usually for interactions in the course forums, it's best to separate the class into smaller groups of 10 to 15 students. In the... So here's how you do it. First, actually you go to your course, then you go under course settings and then under settings here you click on uh, right next to users expand users here and then click on groups once you click on groups notice you have a bunch of options here and one of them is to create the group so we click on create group and now we give it a name group one and then click on save changes you could add more details there but it's not necessary then we click on create group again and we choose group 2. The next step here is going to be to add the members to these groups. So then we click on the group 1 here on the left and then choose add remove users. Here I have just a bunch of uh, test users but you could have a longer list here so this is a student list. Now we are going to you can hold down the shift key and select a whole bunch of them at the same time or you could add them one by one or if you, you can do it also randomly by holding down the control key and then picking various other users so personally I'll probably split the course uh, alphabetically half on one group the other half on the other one but it depends what your needs are so now we choose a bunch of them held down the shift key and click to the next one where I wanted to stop click on add and then group one has been configured then we go back to groups here and we go to group number two under group number two we click on add remove users and then pick the rest of the users that you want to add to this group now at this point you're done with um, adding the or separating the class into groups this is the definition or how you're dividing the class for all assignments throughout the semester so now we go back to the class or to our course and now we create an assignment and in our case the assignment will be for example the forum so we click on turn editing on and let's say for topic one here I want to add a forum discussion so under activities we click on forum and then click on add we give it a name so you basically configure the forum just like you do it except for one setting that I'll show in a moment then we scroll down here usually by the way the subscription mode you want to do that for subscription in that way everyone in the course has been subscribed to that forum we can specify also the grade what category it falls under so if you have uh, discussions or something like that in your course that you have already configured you choose it here and then under the aggregate type depends on how you're doing this but uh, the common uh, setting here would be the average of ratings and then here we have one of the scales so for here at Cairn we are using the satisfactory outstanding and so on there are a couple options here you can pick one of them it's basically you're using this to evaluate and rate each response from the students then you scroll down here under group mode and this is the key this is where you'd use the uh, the function that we defined earlier the group mode this is where we would use the groups so you click on groups and then you can choose separate groups the separate groups is basically when you have the class that they can see only the members of their own group so what's going to happen is that you're going to post a question. The question is going to be available for all groups in the class. However, on this, once the students start responding, only the members of that group, of their own group, they'll be able to see what's going on within their group. And so we choose separate groups and then leave the rest alone here. You can also, as you're dealing here with activity completion, some of the systems might not have this option, but uh, here at Cairn we have it displayed. You can also mark this activity complete after the student, for example, has posted three replies. It's not necessary for the group stuff, but just displaying it since we are dealing with it at this point. Then we click on save and display. So this then has been defined. And then later what you do is basically uh, you'd post a question right here or in the description. 
and then the students will see only the interactions within their group. If you as the instructor, you can actually then go here and you'd be able to see what's happening on group one and then also what's happening on group two. So that's how you'd evaluate the actual groups. So that's it. Hopefully this makes sense on how the, to separate the class into uh, different groups, assign the members to a group, and then create a forum and configure the forum for separate groups. Same thing can be done also for assignments. So for example, I have here a five page assignment. If you go under update here and you scroll down here under group mode, you have the same setting. So it works very similarly for assignments as well.